The Global Assessment Report on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services is a report released on 6 May 2019 by the United Nations Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, on the global state of biodiversity. The report found that, due to human impact on the environment in the past half-century, the Earth's biodiversity has suffered a catastrophic decline unprecedented in human history. An estimated 82% of wild mammal biomass has been lost, while 40% of amphibians, almost a third of reef-building corals, more than a third of marine mammals, and 10% of all insects are threatened with extinction. Topic. Background In 2010 a resolution by the 65th session of the United Nations General Assembly urged the United Nations Environment Programme to convene a plenary meeting to establish an intergovernmental platform on biodiversity and ecosystem services IPBES. In 2013 an initial conceptual framework was adopted for the prospective IPBES plenary, from 29 April to 4 May 2019, representatives of the 132 IPBES members met in Paris, France, to receive the IPBES's full report and adopted a summary of it for policymakers. On 6 May 2019, the 40-page summary was released. Topic. Objective and scope The Global Assessment Report is a global-level assessment of changes in Earth's biodiversity that have occurred over the past 50 years. It draws an extensive picture of economic development and its effects on nature in that period. The report is a collaborative effort by 145 authors from 50 countries, produced over a three-year period and supported by some 310 authors' contributions. The Global Assessment Report comprises some 1,700 pages evaluating over 15,000 scientific publications and reports from indigenous peoples. The report's authors are predominantly natural scientists, one-third are social scientists, and about 10% are interdisciplinary workers. The IPBES report an analog to reports by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC, including the IPCC Fifth Assessment Report, is intended to form a scientific basis for informed political and societal decisions on biodiversity policies. It is the first United Nations report on the global state of biodiversity since the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment published in 2005. Topic. Overview The report examined the rate of decline in biodiversity and found that the adverse effects of human activities on the world's species is unprecedented in human history. One million species, including 40% of amphibians, almost a third of reef-building corals, more than a third of marine mammals, and 10% of all insects are threatened with extinction. Since the 16th century, at least 680 species of vertebrates have become extinct. By 2016, among mammals, more than 9% of livestock breeds were extinct, and another 1,000 breeds are threatened with extinction. The authors have coined the expression, dead species walking, for the more than 500,000 species that are not yet extinct but, due to changes in, or reduction of, their habitats, have no chance of long-term survival. According to the report, the threat to species diversity is human-caused. The main cause is the human land requirement, which deprives other species of their habitats. In the past 50 years, the world's human population has doubled and biodiversity has suffered a catastrophic decline. 
Most notably, tropical forests have been cleared for cattle pastures in South America and for oil palm plantations in Southeast Asia. Some 32 million hectares 79 million acres of tropical rainforest were destroyed between 2010 and 2015, compared to the 100 million hectares 250 million acres lost in the latter two decades of the 20th century. Already 85% of the world's wetlands have been lost, the total biomass of wild mammals has decreased by 82%, while humans and their farm animals now make up 96% of all mammalian biomass on Earth. Additionally, since 1992 the land requirement for human settlements has more than doubled worldwide, and humanity has rendered 23% of Earth's land ecologically degraded and no longer usable. Industrial farming is considered to be one of the major contributors to this decline. Around 25% of the planet's ice free land is being used to rear cattle for human consumption. In the oceans, overfishing is a major cause of species loss. Some 300 to 400 million metric tons 660 to 880 billion pounds of heavy metals, solvents, toxic sludge, and other wastes per year enter the water cycle from industrial facilities. Since the 19th century, the world's coral reefs have been reduced by half. Socioeconomic consequences include threatened loss of food production, due to loss of pollinator insects, valued at between $235 and $577 billion a year, and anticipated loss of the livelihoods of up to 300 million people, due to loss of coastal areas such as mangrove forests. Topic. Conclusions The report warned that society should not fixate on economic growth, and that countries should base their economies on an understanding that nature is the foundation for development. The report called on countries to begin focusing on Restoring habitats, growing food on less land, stopping illegal logging and fishing, protecting marine areas, and stopping the flow of heavy metals and wastewater into the environment. It also suggests that countries reduce their subsidies to industries that are harmful to nature, and increase subsidies and funding to environmentally beneficial programs. Additionally, it highlighted needed shifts in individual behaviors, such as reducing meat consumption. Topic. See also Anthropocene Biodiversity loss Defaunation Deforestation Effects of global warming Holocene extinction Planetary boundaries <laughs>